Hi everyone, I wanted to make a quick video just showing you how I do two different types of cuts in one pass through the silhouette. So um, what I mean is when I go to print this out, this green line cuts all the way through the page and these little red lines only cut, only kiss cut a little bit through the page. So what I do is, I zoom in a little bit, press Z and then just draw a box. So first of all, I'm going to make some shapes that I want to cut out. I want to make a full box. And if this is for the EC, I would click on the box. I would open up the scale window. I would scale it. Now I'm in centimeters. So it's 4.3.8 by 4.8 centimeters. So there's my EC box. Now what I want to do is I want to offset around that so that there's no white line if it cuts a little bit off. So I'm not going to offset, I offset, I think. So you would already have your design done. But what I do for all of my designs, regardless of where I'm designing, is any line that I want to cut, kiss cut, I set to the same color. I always set it to FF0000, which is the color I chose. And any lines that I don't want to cut, I set to something else. So we're going to fill these in, so that, say we want to make a pink box. But the outside line, I don't want that to cut, so I'm going to go to a line color and I'm going to set that to clear or anything else, any other color, just not that same red color. Then, so we're going to make a little half box. Go to scale. 3.8 again, and then we'll make it 2.4. This little half box, press shift and tap on one of these and it will make them the same size. And I fill that in. Maybe we want to make a yellow half box. Then we offset it because we want it to cut. We want there to be a little bit of yellow border around the outside so that our cuts are accurate. So apply that and we're going to fill that in the same color. But again, because we don't want that outside line to cut, we're going to go up to the line color and we're going to set it to clear. And notice we haven't messed with any cut settings yet, we're just making the lines. So we've got this red line that we want to cut and we've got this red line that we want to cut. Then maybe on the inside of this one we want to do an internal offset and a little bit more than that, say 0.3. And we're going to fill that one in. Oops. We're going to fill that in white and we're going to increase the transparency. But again, we're going to go up to here and we're going to select the line color and we're going to hit clear because we don't want that to cut. Now, I'm going to zoom out. And say on this page I want to cut four boxes. So what I do is come up here and I'm going to draw a rounded rectangle. And I'm going to draw it approximately the right size, maybe 7.5 by... So this is going to be what's going to cut out. So on this, let's group those together. Group all of those together. So this is the one we want to cut out. Uh, this one I always set to the same color, and I use this green because I very rarely use green. So now we've got a green border that we want to cut all the way through, and a red border that we want to kiss cut. So once you finish designing, you go to your cut settings. And at the moment, everything's cutting. We've got these two lines here, this inside white line. We've got our two lines here and the red line. We don't want any of that. So go over here and you click Advance. And you can choose a cut by fill or line. I always cut by line. So what we have here is this is all the shapes that have no line color. So that's everything. That's this white box. It's both the offsets and it's the green line. So we uncheck that. The red line... I want a kiss cut, so I go down here and I've already defined it, but I'll show you how I do it. You click the plus button, and we're going to call this kiss cut sample. Okay, and then we're going to click on that one, and I set that to three, 
I set my speed to 5 and for me my kiss cut is at about 5. So now that should stay in your user defined material type. We're going to go up here and it should say, so now we click on the red one and it should say kiss cut example, and that's those settings there. And that means that every red line and only the red lines will kiss cut. And then we go up here and click on the green line color and scroll down and we're going to click full cut. And for me, it's the same blade setting, it's three speed 9 and thickness 22 so it cuts all the way through the page. If you can't see this by the way it's under editing so when you click on it you click editing it comes up and then and also we want to change this around because we actually want the red to cut first because I find that if you cut the green out first sometimes it can peel off the mat so I cut my red lines first goes all the way through the sheet, cuts all the red lines, kiss cut, and then it will go back and it will full cut the green lines. And then you just click send to silhouette and you should get a nice cut like that. Um, some of them are more complex than others, so when I go, this is my ombre heart sheet, when I look at my line colour here, there are tons of options because I've got some love hearts here, they've got lines, I've got the white of the writing has lines, It's these are all love hearts, but you just uncheck everything and every time I go in and I click red kiss cut and green full cut and it means I know exactly where it's going to cut. And that's how I design all of my stickers. Everything I create, these feather stickers, their offset is a red line whenever I go in. And it means that every time I go to cut I can select the same settings and I know it's going to cut perfectly every time. And then there was one other thing. Oh, that's right. It doesn't pause between your red and your green. So you can't, for example, set kiss cut to blade 2 and your full cut to blade 3. So what you have to do is you have to find a blade where you can have a low thickness and have a kiss cut and have a high thickness and have a full cut. But So for me that was 3 because when I had it on 2 my thickness 33 didn't cut all the way through the page. So I upped the blade for full cut. So it's 3, speed 9, because this is fast, it doesn't it's not intricate, it's easy to do. And then my kiss cut, I need to be a little bit more accurate, a little bit slower, so it's speed 5 and thickness 5. Anyway, I hope that helps. Happy planning!